Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold videos for last week Monday through Thursday which is November 6th through the 9th and sales are just being consistent and being good so that's a good thing y'all I know it's not summertime but I'm determined for us to be going to the gym several times a week so we got up very early this morning on our way to taking RJ to school we went to the gym and I have just been non-stop since then right here this is what's been keeping me busy all day I'm getting my stuff ready for a whatnot sell on Sunday 6 p.m. Eastern it is all things Squishmallow so it's gonna be I think 65 Squishmallows I'm gonna put up for auction so if you're interested in any of that just come over and join us or just come in the chat and talk it's we have a good time usually lasts about an hour hour and a half and hopefully I'll get this stuff moving to new homes all right I had sales on all the platforms except Etsy Etsy's time is very short as a platform that I'm going to continue to use um, I just don't think it's worth the effort. I really think I need to focus on eBay, Poshmark, and whatnot. Um, and quit, you know, just spreading my time thin. All right, two sales on Mercari to share. This first one, well, I think both of them were offers. Pottery Barn Kids Cloth Doll from 2002 sold for $17. Cabbage Patch Kids Witch Doll sold for $8. And then on Poshmark, I had four sales for that um, Monday through Thursday. Lots of clothes. Old Navy men's jeans sold for $15. Lee women's jeans sold for $16. I don't know what's up, but all of a sudden I am selling tons of Lee and like Lee Ryder jeans. In fact, today I shipped out, I think at least two. So I'm not sure if there's a new thing for Lee jeans, but all of a sudden I'm selling them, which I'm glad we find lots of them around here. Ravensburger Jigsaw Puzzle um, sold for $19. And this Old Navy Denim Jacket sold for $17. Now eBay. I don't offer free shipping, so when I say something sold for five dollars like this item um the buyer did pay additional for um shipping y'all this is just an example right now i'm really just in the frame of let's get some of this older inventory moving i've talked about how i've been reducing my prices i've been taking um reasonable offers this is just another example this is a playmobil red dragon it was missing its wing they are still sellable. Somebody else who maybe has broken the dragon but can replace the wings on this one, it's going to work out perfectly for them. They made an offer of $5. It has been listed over a year, so I went ahead and accepted it. Gray felt gnome Christmas tree skirt. Picked it up at an estate store, a sale or a yard sale. I think it was in a bulk lot of stuff. Um, accepted a $10 offer on it. <laughs> All right, coffee mugs. I've talked about how I changed my shipping to the buyer pays um, the same cost as I do for the eBay reduced commercial shipping. Um, and I'm selling tons and tons of stuff that I think I have had to hold on to because I needed to find that right buyer that lived near me who was willing to pay the shipping that the, the retail shipping um, and all of a sudden now I'm selling tons I wished I had done this sooner I've had several people tell me that they've switched over and they are seeing a drastic increase in sales also um, so I want to thank my my friend Scott from Trading Post Pickers because he's the one that started this and told me how great his sales were doing and I thought let's do it let's do it but this is an Adeco engineering coffee cup. 
I tell you guys a lot. I like to pick up the advertising coffee mugs. I, I want to say this one was an international shipment. So somebody really wanted this Adeco cup. Sold for $13.45. Fisher Price Little People Sesame Street. This is Gordon and Susan. These I picked up in the Highway 127 sale last year when I bought a huge box lot of um, vintage Fisher Price. These two figures sold for $16. I bought a box lot of Barbie pieces and parts, um, but in there was like a stable and this goat and a couple of animals and then I think some dollhouse stuff. I want to say I paid five or ten dollars for the whole box and I ended up piecing all of it out. Um, I know I had already sold the stable. I don't remember what else was in there, but this was this was a Barbie goat um, named Nibbles, and it sold for $8. Robert picked this up at our favorite little estate sale company that we go to on Wednesdays. It was a Morgan Silver Dollar belt. The issue with it was it had been personalized with the name Jimmy. Um... I still listed it relatively high, and when we got a best offer of $50, um, Robert said, go ahead and sell it. So I did. Russ Prayer Bear, 8-inch, sold for $8.06. Lots of bread and butter. Lots of bread and butter. Old Navy Boot Cut Jeans, sold for $9.00. This was from that private pick estate sale that I went to this past summer. Bought tons and tons of vintage plush, but I did pick up some vintage Christmas stuff. I've sold quite a few of them already. There was some Mr. Christmas stuff and then this Lamax. Um, and then a lot of UT type stuff, University of Tennessee. Um, but this was a just deer and tree set from 1999. Sold for best offer of $10.00. Fisher Price Dollhouse um, outdoor deck stuff to that dollhouse, which is funny because I just picked up the dollhouse. Pretty sure it's the one that I have that I'm I'm contemplating um, parting out, like the walls, the floor, the base. I'm thinking about doing it that way. It'll be a whole lot easier to ship. I just haven't figured out what I want to do with it. It's sitting over there in my area to be worked on. Um, but these were outdoor parts to it, and they sold for $17.95. And I didn't get these at the same time. Kid Power Maurice, Maurice Sendak Little Bear Plush. I find a couple of these every year, and they tend to do $20, $25 for me. This one sold for $22.45. I just picked this up and listed it within the last month. This was a Barney dinosaur jack-in-the-box toy um, sold for $22.45. I talk about the Hallmark Rodney Reindeer plush all the time. Um, this one had the original paper tag with it from 1984, sold for $17.95. Y'all, I see these all the time at yard sales for 50 cents, a quarter, you know, several of them for a dollar. Um, so definitely worth picking up. Stuffins, Lisa Frank, Marky Unicorn Plush. I think this was from that church cell that I went to. Picked up a couple of um, Lisa Frank Plush that day. Um, Marky is more of common. Um, I have found him a couple of times. These are the small little um, bean plush. It sold for $22.45. These are from the Hybrid Estate sale that I won a ton of stuff from two years ago. Lots of advertising. These were Protonics um, pharmaceutical type plush. Um, I put these in sets of two. I ended up with quite a few of these from that lot. This might be the end of it. Um, but these two together sold for $18.55. Gem Shore Snowman Ornament. I went to a yard sale and bought like a small paper bag full of ornaments. This was one of the ones there that day. I want to say 
maybe I paid a dollar each. It could have been less. Um, a lot of it was Hallmark, and I remember picking up this Jim Shore one, and then another lady had already picked up a different one out of that box. Um, so I, I kind of watched to wait to see if she was going to put it down, but she didn't. This one sold for $9. I'm not going to hold on to Christmas ornaments if I don't need to. $9 is reasonable when I pretty sure I paid a dollar for it. So, you know, I'd like to get as much of my seasonal stuff out the door um, before the end of the year. I talked about this recently. I picked this up at my favorite little estate sale. Um, it was a bag of doll stuff. This, there were several more things in there. I paid $3 for the whole bag because I saw that little food dish in the center with the like magic spoon that goes with it. Um, this is from Hasbro. It's the Baby All Gone doll accessories. They sold very quickly for $53.95. These um, Masters of the Universe um, cells, I think I've got two of them to share with you. These all came from RJ's grandmother, who sent over a whole bunch of vintage action figure stuff. And um, these were RJ's uncles when he was a kid. And this one, Web Store, sold for $8. M&G Bertini purse with Lucite handles. I've had these forever. I one time thought, ooh, I'm going to start getting into vintage purses, and I bought quite a few of them. I listed some, and I think the rest of them are sitting in here somewhere because it's just outside of my wheelhouse, and I have enough stuff that I like to pick up that's vintage without adding this category to it, and it just seemed... Um, very long tail for me. So I probably will steer clear of these types of purchases, but it did sell for $18. <sighs> Y'all, this is my big sale. I meant to move it to the end, but that's all right. Doesn't always have to be at the end, but I picked these up. I want to say at the Goodwill bins. Pretty sure that's where I got them. It was six, uh, no, five of the Disney Santa Buddies dogs, um, and I, I knew I had something special. There's lots, there, there's some listed, but none that were in this large of a lot and with the little Santa caps on, and it included the little girl, which I think is the hardest one to find. Um, this person didn't even send an offer. It sold at my full price of $116.96. Le Mutt. Pretty sure I picked this up at the Goodwill Bins in Nashville, I, I want to say. I want probably our not the last trip, but the time before. It did have the noses messed up. Um, somebody who knows how to fix them would be able to fix it, but it is from Francesca Horline. Horline. Um, I think she also does the pig. There's a pig plush that goes with that name also. Um, but it still sold for $25.50. I think I grabbed these at my estate sale I like to go to. These were Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls, 12 inch, 1996, still in their original boxes, even though the boxes had wear, sold for $32.32. .32. Now I picked up a bag or Robert did, one of us did, of these like postal stamp pins. Um, some of them, I've already sold quite a few of them, um, but I want to say we only paid a couple dollars maybe for the whole bag, and even just this one little stamp, a pin, sold for five dollars. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Margo. Margo picked up this Bone China Horse and Fold Porcelain figure set, um, and they sold for $15. McDonald's Polly Pocket. I like picking up some of the vintage McDonald's stuff. A lot of it is going to be like this. I can get, 
you know, four, five, six dollars for a piece plus shipping, and I'm okay with that. This one sold for five dollars and 36 cents. This is from the bookcase upstairs of all the curriculum that I started listing that was ours that we finished with this year. Um, this is Spanish One. I'm pretty sure I bought this on eBay, probably paid about this much, and sold it again for $7.15. This was also upstairs. Um, this is Apologia. This is a really good curriculum that um, ends up selling very well, even used. Um, this book was from the Exploring Creation with Biology series and sold it very quickly for $40.45. Zathura board game. Um, this we picked up at a yard sale when we were driving from Connecticut to New York to see my son um, and go to the Goodwill bins in Rochester. Um, I, I want to say we paid a dollar or two for it. It ended up being complete except there was two broken like spaceships. The box did have some condition issues. Um, it still sold very quickly for $22.45. It took me forever though to sit down and spread it all out and make sure everything was there. Board games can be quite tedious to list. Plains, Western, men's shirts. Um, probably picked this up the first year we started selling clothes. You know, I heard, you know, pearl snap shirts do really well. Well, it took two years to sell. Probably not something that I will pick up without checking comps in the future. Uh, still sold for $10. Gudetama Lazy Egg. I, I had a hard time finding comps on this one. It must just be more uncommon. It had the little reindeer antlers on it. Um, so I went ahead and picked a pretty big price for me for that size of a plush and took a best offer of $19. Corning Vision, they're a pain. I probably will steer clear from them just because that handle, you end up having to be in a larger box. We did have it pre-packed, which I very much encourage people, especially when you're first starting out. If that item that you're about to list doesn't fit in a large priority box, the box number seven, or smaller, prepack. Prepack, put your dimensions, put your weight, um, because you don't want to get surprised after it's sold with just ridiculous shipping prices. So definitely do that. It's sold for $15. Barrington, sorry, got distracted, Robert. Barrington Yellow Lab Dog Plush sold for $20. Lots of plush, y'all. American Girl Doll. I picked up two of these dolls at a yard sale. I think I paid five bucks each. I also picked up a bed and some clothes and stuff also at that yard sale. Um, this is Kaya. She was in her original meat dress and she sold on best offer of $65. Oh, this, I talked about this in a previous video, but I got the sweetest message from the buyer. Um, she'd had this plush before when she was a child. She still has it, but the music box had been taken out and she wanted a replacement with the music box. Although mine, somebody had wound it too tight and I couldn't figure out how to get it. She was planning on trying to um, get it repaired, but she sent me a picture and everything of the two plush side by side just love when that happens. Um, this Eden Brown Dog Plush sold for $44.95. Dakin Bulldog Hand Puppet um, sold immediately for $14.95. This is the other Masters of the Universe item I sold. This is the case with no trays, sold for best offer of $9.00. Blue Gals Plush Fleeker, never heard of this show, from 2017, sold for $8.02. Y'all, I don't know about this sale because it sold immediately. Um, MTC, come to find out, I saw most of the listings that I found 
were for like pretend food and not even just kind of play, but not even even nice quality, not actual lifelike stuff. It didn't seem to me, but it was just all of this like squeezable type plastic rubber, whatever it's made out of. Um, so I just kind of picked a price point on this based on what the food was selling for, because it was selling for really good prices also, shockingly. Um, and these sold probably within a day of listing them for $22.45. Maybe I should have gone higher. Maybe somebody had a search saved for anything MTC. Um, I don't know, but you know, I love when I sell stuff really quickly, but you know, all of us think, oh, did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake? I don't know, but it was just two little plain figures, a little rabbit and a little duck. L.L. Bean men's lined pants, $21.31. Veggie Tales DVD lot. I picked up quite a few DVDs this summer. I um, finally got a lot of them listed. I think I still have some that need to get sorted through. Um, but these five Veggie Tail DVDs sold for $13.45. I want to say I paid 50 cents each. Applause White Bear Plush. Her name was Tammy Teddy from 1988. Sold for $24.22. She was in really nice condition. Still with her little plastic tag. Another really good sale. I picked up this Magic Tea set from Play School at um, the yard sale um, that I picked up a whole bunch of vintage Fisher-Price stuff at. Um, for us, we call this yard sale that happens um, annually the Tree Streets because all of the streets in this neighborhood are tree names. Um, but it was huge. We went the day before that it was supposed to start, and I got a lot of good stuff because I avoid that. The, I avoid that sale. The traffic is awful. You have to park very far away, and you have to walk miles, miles to get to all of the houses because you there's no on-street parking um but this was good i i want to say probably paid three or five dollars for it it was an international sale i want to say it went to pakistan through the ebay international shipping um but it sold for seventy dollars christmas stocking this one was from kids of america just kind of that not lifelike, but 3D cat top there sold for $15. I picked these up all year. The animated ones, the musical ones, and just pretty much any interesting stockings. Epic Calico Critters Furniture. I want to say I bought this at one of those consignment sales maybe or at a yard sale. Paid a couple of dollars. Decided just to make one huge lot I think it was a couple of finds that I ended up putting together. Um, sold for $25. A&A Raccoon Puppet sold for $15. The Petting Zoo Cute Little Brown Bear sold for $8. American Eagle Women's Jeans sold for $16. These I picked up at a recent church sale. I ended up, there was three of these together in a box. I kept one because I thought when I'm taking pictures of certain things and I need it to spin, I might start using that. Um, I've used it a couple of times, but the green one and the yellow one I wasn't interested in. So I listed them and they sold very quickly for $13.45. I kept the white one. This is another viewer sale, so thank you so much, Terry. Terry bought three plush from, well, two plush and a Christmas ornament. She bought the Disney Eeyore, the Mione Aurora Donkey, and a Hallmark Spencer the Sparrow ornament. Total was, let me move this, $24.72. So thank you very much, Terry. 
All right, Jag, J-A-A-G, Cow Bowl Plush. Couldn't find anything like it. I based my price on other um, plush that had sold under that brand and got a best offer of $9, which I accepted. Was, I'm pretty sure that was a Ben's find. And last but not least, more curriculum. This one, though, was from the box lot that Robert picked up. We paid $45 for a huge tote, and I have sold over half of it already now. And this um, Positive Action Bible curriculum sold for $11.66. All right, y'all. It's very crazy busy here this these days. I think I ended up having 28 packages that went out this morning. I plan on shipping again tomorrow, which is going to be Saturday because I've got this whatnot stuff and I just don't want to overwhelm my postal carrier on Monday. So I try to get at least all of my Saturday orders out as soon as I can. And then, you know, hopefully it's going to be a good weekend of sales for all of us. Fingers crossed. You know, I'm, I'm on probably two weeks straight knock on wood, that my sales have been average to a way above average. So I'm, I'm thrilled. Finally, eBay finally is, you know, living up to my expectations. How about that? So y'all, it's time to get to work. Bye.